Pope Adiodatus I, also called Diodatus I or Dusdigit, was the Bishop of Rome from 19th of October 615 to his death. He was the first priest, not a monk, to be elected Pope since John II in 533. During this time the Lombards and the Byzantine Exarch were fighting causing many displaced people in Rome and environs who had nothing. Diodotus worked for the poor, feeding, clothing, encouraging them. To ensure authenticity of communications from him to the people, he introduced the first use of lead seals or bully or now known as papal bull on papal documents. In August, 618, there was a tremendous earthquake in Rome followed, within months by a plague of leprosy. Diodotus worked tirelessly for the poor and sick during the disaster, only to fall ill and die on 8th of November of that year. The Four Crown Martyrs Ultimately, Christians cannot create a statue of a pagan god. The decision not to carve a statue of Aesculapius cost Christian sculptors Claudius, Castorius, Symphorian, and Nicostratus their lives. They were condemned by Diocletian, placed in lead barrels, and drowned in the Danube. Saint Theodore of Amasi, was one of the Greek military saints of the 4th century and the earlier patron saint of Venice. After enlisting in the army he was sent to winter quarters in Pontus. During the reign of emperors Diocletian and Maximian an edict against Christians was issued and Theodore was brought before the magistrates at Amazi and ordered to sacrifice to the state gods. He refused and was offered time for reflection but was later burned at the stake when it was found he used this time to burn the temple of Sibylle. Pope Benedict XVI has called Pope Saint Leo the Great one of the greatest popes who have honored the Roman See. Leo lived in the 5th century, and is known to history for his role in calling the Council of Chalcedon, and for having forestalled Attila the Hun's invasion of Italy. Saint Andrew Avellino, was a handsome youth, his chastity was often exposed to danger. Female admirers took an interest in him. To escape their importunities he took ecclesiastical tonsure. After he was ordained he was commissioned him to reform the convent at Naples which by the laxity of its discipline had become a source of great scandal. By his own example and his untiring zeal he restored the religious discipline of the convent with great difficulties, he was even assaulted and severely wounded. Saint Martin of Tours, was known as the Apostle of Gaul, he began life as a soldier, and went on to become a bishop. He is known especially for his devotion to the poor, as seen in an incident from his early life when St. Martin cut his cloak in half and gave part to a poor man suffering from the cold. St. Bartholomew, abbot of Grate Ferrata, was sent to the monastery of San Giovanni Calabita in Calavto at the age of seven by his parents for his education. Age 12, he moved to the Abbey of Monte Cassino where he came to know St. Nilo. It is said that during a trip, the Virgin Mary appeared to them both and asked them to found a monastery and a church in her honor, which they did, at Grate Ferrata. Under his administration, which continued for some forty years, the monastery established a firm basis which would allow it to continue to this day. Saint Bartholomew was also a hen writer and noted calligrapher like his teacher. He is also described as having a very sympathetic nature, and being unable to see anyone suffer without giving that party comfort. Saint Diego L. A. Franciscan, born in Alcala del Puerto, in Spain, around the year 1400. Didicus became a Franciscan lay brother. Although not a priest, he was sent to establish the faith in the Canary Islands. During a plague in Rome in 1450, Didicus remained to assist the sick, even after the Curia had fled. Saint Joseph at Kuntzevich, was a Polish-Lithuanian monk and Eastern Rite Bishop. On November 12, 1623, an axe stroke and a bullet brought Joseph at his martyr's crown. His bloody body was dragged to the river and thrown in, along with the body of a dog who had tried to protect him. He is held up as a martyr to church unity because he died trying to bring part of the Orthodox Church into union with Rome. Saint Nicholas also called Nicholas the Great asserted that the Pope should have suzerainty over all Christians, even royalty, 
in matters of faith and morals. Nicholas showed efforts to maintain ecclesiastical discipline, especially as to the marriage laws. Nicholas refused King of Lothrenia's request for an annulment of his marriage. When a council pronounced in favor of an annulment, Nicholas I declared the council deposed, its messengers excommunicated, and its decisions invalid. Despite pressure from the Carolinans, who laid siege to Rome, his decision held. Wife of Count Boso, had left her husband for a paramour, Nicholas commanded the bishops in the dominions of Charles the Bald to excommunicate her unless she returned to her husband. Saint Augustine Olivia Pietrantoni, is an example of the virtue of silence that is found in one's duties, charity, of quietness in one's approach rather than the absence of speech. At the age of 22 she chose Christ as her spouse. After receiving her religious habit she was sent to Santo Spirito Hospital. The atmosphere in the hospital was hostile to religion. The Capuchin friars were expelled, the crucifix and all the other religious signs were forbidden. They made the life of the sisters difficult but Saint Agostina would always chose work over rest saying we will lie down for such a long time after death that it is worthwhile to keep standing while we are alive. Let us work now, one day we will rest. She died a violent death, at the hands of one of the patients in the hospital where she labored for God. Saint Serapion of Algiers, born in London in 1179. Serapion is said to have taken part in the Third Crusade, under the leadership of Richard the Lionhearted. He eventually joined the Mercedarian Order, and dedicated himself to the redemption and conversion of slaves, whom he freed by the hundreds. He was martyred in 1240. We love it that you have spent your time listening to this video until the end. Would you like to share your experience of God's love? Come and join us at www.mustardseedscommunity.com forward slash join dash us. Till then may God's blessing always be with you.